Hello everyone! Welcome back to Random English, a channel to improve your English listening practice. Hi, I'm Julia and today I'm going to talk about why variety is important in learning English. What do I mean by variety? I mean using different types of resources or if you're using the same type of resource, using slightly different ones. For example, if you take classes with a teacher, you can also do some individual work by listening to podcasts or uh, using apps or doing exercises online and so on. Or, for example, if you are learning English using mobile apps, you can choose two or three different apps with different topics. Why is variety important? There are no perfect resources in this world. Even if you have the greatest teacher in the world who can give you all the information, all the grammar and vocabulary and great practice, it is still good for you to be exposed to different types of English, different pronunciation and accents, maybe different varieties also different people just use different vocabulary and the more you hear the better. Also different people just explain things differently. If we talk about apps, there are a lot of great apps for learning English nowadays but they usually focus on one aspect. For example an app for learning grammar or an app for learning vocabulary. Even if you have a mix of things, it's usually a little limited. If we think about podcasts, for example, podcasts are great for practicing listening. But that's what they are. Listening. If you learn English by listening to podcasts only, you don't practice reading, writing, speaking. So, this is also a limited resource. As you can see, variety is very important for learning different aspects of English. When we learn English, we learn several things, such as grammar, vocabulary, listening, speaking, reading and writing. Usually, one resource can't give you all that, and you need to combine them to study English fully. Another important thing, um, especially important for listening, it is good for you to hear different accents, just different people speaking. For example, if you just listen to me, or to your teacher, or to one person on a podcast, whatever, you get used to their pronunciation very quickly. I want to say that if you listen to them a lot, it becomes easier and easier to understand them. But if you meet a person who speaks differently, with a slightly different accent, or maybe quicker, or maybe not as clearly, it will be hard for you to understand them. And, of course, in life you are going to meet people who speak very differently. So it's better to practice listening to different people. Also, in general, the more you use English, the better, the faster, the more effectively you learn. So, for example, if you have lessons with a teacher a couple of times a week, you can add more practice by listening to podcasts, watching TV shows or YouTube channels, reading books in English, adapted or not, doing exercises in apps and so on. Sometimes it can be just maybe like five extra minutes, but it will help you learn English much faster and much more effectively. Well, this is it for today's video. If you have any questions left, put them down here in the comments. I will do my best to answer them quickly. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Random English. I will see you around in future videos. Bye-bye!